Bears go into hibernation in about a month or so, and they are looking everywhere for food right now, even in neighborhoods you might not expect. You see them right there. This is a new video of a mom and cub on the eastern side of I-25. Fox 31's Kasha Carriage spoke with Colorado Parks and Wildlife about what to be on the lookout for right now. Kasha. Yeah, guys, from about mid-August to mid-November, it's called hyperphagia when bears try to eat 20,000 calories a day to help get them through the winter. In Douglas County, east of I-25. We saw on Facebook that there was a baby cub and a mama bear that was in our neighborhood. The two culprits that neighbors say have been roaming the Grandview Estates for days. While it's probably rarer for them because as they keep going east, their food options also become rare at that time. They do venture over there and then eventually they just make their way back west. The Martinez family keeps their animals safe inside the barn at night. So we shut the doors because I was actually kind of nervous that they were going to like come up here. The quiet neighborhood typically has to protect their animals from foxes and coyotes. A lot of deer, but uh, bears, Ew, you know, so it was pretty, uh, you know, unusual. Colorado Parks and Wildlife says to keep your trash indoors until the morning of pickup, keep car and house doors locked and garages shut, and keep your bird feeders down until after Thanksgiving. It's very important that bears do not get fed and do not get food that first time, because if they don't find it that first time, they're not going to keep coming back looking for it. Colorado Parks and Wildlife also recommends if you do see a bear, yell at it or make another loud noise with an air horn, car alarm, or even music. Reporting in the studio, Kasha Carriage, Fox 31. Yeah, those bears fattening up for winter, although it hasn't felt much like that. I was